Let's go ahead and get your Facebook ad set up so that we can run some traffic. So over here in your Facebook page, you'll see the menu, you'll click it and you'll hit add. Brings you to your ad manager and that's where you're gonna see this choose your campaign objective. We're gonna be driving traffic to a website so we're gonna hit traffic and continue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and name the campaign I'm just going to go ahead and copy it so I can use it later. Now, special ad categories. Because you're running housing or mortgage ads, you're going to want to come down here and select housing. That's very important. You don't want to get in trouble with Facebook's terms of service. And now, as far as A-B testing or advantage campaign budget we're just gonna go ahead and leave that alone for now let's go ahead and hit next now you can see right here we've got, we're in the ad set area I'm gonna hit control paste and name the ad set the same as my ad just for fun just for clarity so I can keep them keep them separate in my mind and when I'm looking at my ad manager now the performance goal you can change it from maximizing the number of link clicks or the maximized number of landing page views. It's all up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as link clicks. Hopefully when people come to my page, they're gonna go ahead and take the quiz or the call to action and get things going. Uh, let's go ahead and change our budget. You can see right here, I can change this to $2 a day if I like. I'm gonna leave the start date today. I'm not gonna set an end date. If I wanted to, I could run it for a week or whatever. I'm gonna leave it empty for right now though because I can always come back in here and turn it off if I want to. So now here we are in the audience section and you can see this is where I'm gonna be able to choose the locations. Right now it's gonna run across the entire United States. If I wanted it to just run in the state of Florida, I could put in Florida or you can see when I type in Florida, all sorts of different cities or the state pop up. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you like just by hitting that um, search locations. You know, if I wanted to run this in Jacksonville, you can see right here, I could run it in Jacksonville, Florida if I wanted to, but that's already covered in the state of Florida, so I'm not worried about it. There we go. So you can choose where your ad is gonna run. Now you could, if you wanted to, start to experiment with detailed targeting. You can click this edit right here. You can add some interests or um, behaviors. So let's go ahead and just type in like first time home buyer. You can see right here, first time buyer. Now a bunch of different options are gonna pop up down here that could be used as well if I wanted to. If I wanted to look up investor, mortgage calculator, mortgage loans, all these different things, I can use these different interests for targeting if I want to. I'm just gonna leave it as first time buyer. Let's go ahead and come down here. Okay, so now we're in the placements area. Now in this placements, I just want to run this as a Facebook ad. I don't want it on Instagram. I don't want it all over the place. And I know for a fact that my video is a square video and where it's going to work the best, I'm going to have to click that manual placements. So I'm going to click manual placements, come over here and uncheck these other options. And then I'm going to see where it's going to look the best. I can mouse over each one of these options and it's going to show me. So when I click, when I mouse over Facebook feed, you can see over here, it says vertical four by five, right? In the Facebook feed or in the Facebook profile feed, you can see it says square one to one. So in these different things, it's going to look different. So you know, four by five and one by one, they're similar enough. I'm gonna go ahead and let those run in both. Let's see, I'm gonna leave, let's see, Facebook Marketplace is square. Each one of these that I mouse over that doesn't have the one-to-one, -one, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Stories and Reels, I can tell you right now that's not gonna be it because that's the nine by 16. So you can create a nine by 16 video and run them here and they will look the best. But for right now, I'm gonna get rid of them. 
in stream. See, it says one-to-one -one image format, but I'm running a one-to-one -one video, so I'm gonna get rid of that too. This looks good. Okay, that about does it. So now I can go ahead and move on to the next page. Next. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in my ad name. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run this to my Tim Armstrong Marketing Facebook page, or that's the name that's gonna appear as a post or ad so that people can see who I'm identifying as is Tim Armstrong Marketing. Now let's go ahead and it's gonna be a manual upload, a single video, ad creative. So now what we wanna do is go ahead and set up the ad. I'm gonna make it a video ad. Now this creative setup, you know, there's things you can do in here if you want to. I'm gonna skip it for right now and I'm just gonna tell people what my ad is about. Now what I'm gonna do is access some information that I use ChatGPT to create and Canva to create. It's my home buyers ad Google Doc, and this is gonna be available below the video that you're watching in a button. It's gonna say resources or something like that. Just go ahead and click the button and you'll be able to download this too. So you can see here, I've got different ads already created with different images and different ad copies. So whether you're thinking about buying a house with no money down or special purchase programs or whatever, you could use this ad copy for um, some ideas, right? So you can use the ad copy, you can use the templates. And when you click on the templates, let me just show you right now. Like here, I'm gonna click the template. The link becomes available, so I click it and then it opens this window up. Now I wanna use this template for a new design. I don't wanna edit the template, I wanna use the template for a new design, so I'm gonna click into it, and now it opens up in my Canva account. Now if I want to, I could hit File and go copy this, and then I'd have two of them, and then I can go ahead and you know come in here and edit things. I've got a video uh, linked on the page that I just showed you here. I'll go ahead and put a, a link in here so that you can see how to edit this. It's something on my YouTube channel. It um, shows you how to edit these types of videos in Canva. So from here, if you edit it, you know you can change these pictures. You can get rid of the pictures. You can get rid of the grids. There's lots of different things you can do. Um, you can replace all the colors and stuff. But when you're ready to download it, you hit share and you hit download. And then it's gonna be an MP4 and you hit download. And then that way you can go ahead and upload that into your ads manager. Now the next step is to go ahead and create the text for your ad. You know, we've got primary text, a headline and a call to action right here. Let's get that set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of my ad here. Let's go ahead and hit this, copy it and paste it. And if I wanted to use the um, creative text generation, I could, or if I wanted to make variations, I could. You could put this into ChatGPT and said, hey, write this three different ways, right? So you can have one of five, and then Facebook will go ahead and um, pair it up different ways. So you can have five different options in here so that Facebook can serve it up and then you know let you choose, or it'll choose which one's working the best. Now, as far as your short headline goes, this is just a brief headline and it doesn't appear in all placements. I'm not gonna worry about that for right now. Um, let's see, the learn more, let's just go uh, for the headline. Let's go ahead and go um, get program info now. There we go, get program info, info now. Let's go ahead and click next. Now you'll wanna click this plus upload button right here to upload your video. I've already done that. Once your video is uploaded, all you've gotta do is go ahead and select it. So I'm gonna hit next. And you can see the video is here um, in the original size. Let's go ahead and click next. I'm not gonna worry about this optimizations. I'm just gonna click done. So now you can see the preview of what it's gonna look like in the different placements, okay? 
so you can see what it's going to look like in the different places and make sure everything looks good. It's got a green check instead of showing me any kind of errors up here. Normally, if there was a problem with any of the placements, it would say, oh, this isn't gonna look good in this area, but it looks like we've done our homework well, so it's gonna look good in all the places that we choose to run the ad. All right, that looks good. And now you can see my website. So when people click learn more, it's gonna send them to my website. So let's go ahead and put in here. There we go. So now it's gonna show you Tim Armstrong Marketing, get program info now, learn more. So I put my URL in here. Now see, if you've got a specific landing page, that's where you're gonna to wanna to put this. So you're gonna put that little slash in here and if it's, a, if it's a blog post or a calculator, that's where you're gonna put it, is right here in this website URL area so that when people click learn more, it brings them to the right page so that you're driving traffic to the right asset so that people can uh, take advantage of your offer. Now, I'm not gonna worry about display links or browser add-ons. Now, you could be done right now and just go ahead and hit publish but if you want to add some tracking to your ad you could update your url parameters right here go ahead and click learn more and you can see how to add url parameters to your meta ads and it's kind of helpful because if you're running ads let's say for different real estate people or for different referral partners you might want to be tracking those uh, contacts in your database or in your crm and the best way to do that is to put in these URL parameters. So you can read all about it right here. There's a little link down here that says build a URL parameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close the help menu here, click URL parameter, and here you can see campaign name. So if I wanna identify a specific promotion or a strategic campaign like summer sale or you know, a certain address or a certain realtor's name or whatever, I can name this campaign. So I'm gonna put in here, traffic 2.0. So now the campaign name is gonna go into this parameter. So let me go ahead and add the parameter and apply. And now you can see UTM underscore campaign equals traffic 2.0. Oh, now this is going to be transferred into my database when somebody comes into my fast pages funnel and fills out the questionnaire. This is a way I can track where that information is. And I'll show you that in just a second. But for right now, let's go ahead and hit publish and get this thing ready to go. All right, you can see right here, my Traffic 2.0 campaign ad is in processing. This can take a few hours for this to get approved and you'll be able to get an email from Facebook or Meta when this gets approved. It'll say your ad has started running. So for right now, we're ready to go. All right, so where does that code go? So let's go ahead and hop over into Fast Pages. We'll click in here, we'll hit Edit Fields. Let's come over to the name field. I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit fields here. And here you can see UTM campaign right here. Now this is a hidden field. And what I did to get this put in here is I hit, went and hit add field. And you can see right here, hidden. And what that does, when I click settings, I can make this mapped to a CRM property and it's gonna be UTM campaign. So now I can click in here, I can type in the name, and now it's gonna go ahead and save that information when somebody runs through my funnel and they go to put in their name, that UTM campaign will be saved. I've got two in here now, I'm gonna go ahead and delete one of them. But you can see right here in the settings, it's mapped to a CRM property UTM campaign. So now when I go into my CRM and I look up a contact, I'll be able to see who they are 
because of the campaign. That will be designated to me and saved in an appropriate field.